Alright guys, we're back with Life is Strange, episode 4 here. Uh, if you didn't, if you're just skipping to this episode and haven't seen or know anything about episode 3, I suggest going to back to episode 3, because that was a good episode, and it, you're not going to understand what's going on if you haven't seen it. But let's just get right into this. It's going to be awesome. Nice little scenery for us. Get the episode started off. Found my controller, by the way. <laughs> my dad, I left it on the ground near my computer. My dad picked it up and he moved it. So he put it into like this little cabinet thing where I wouldn't think of looking for it. But my brother told me, he's like, hey, I saw him put it in there one day. I'm like, really? So I went and checked. There it was. So now we got the controller back. Just gotta remember the controls on how to use the controller. But otherwise, we should be good. It should be easier for me to make, like do fast choices and stuff like that. Yep, here's Chloe. We saw her in this weird state. Don't know why she's like this. But, you know, whatever. And then we we're part of the popular kids crew for some reason, somehow. So I want to kind of learn about that as well. But I guess let's just enjoy this until they start talking. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. All the beach whales. Those beach whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At That's least... That's kind of sad. <laughs> I'm alive here with you. She must have had like an accident or something. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you so car crash. remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. What missing girl? What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is Sorry, such a still different goes world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but mm. as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. 
You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Can't even turn to look at me. Uh, it's so sad. You know, at least she's still alive. But... So, us going back in time, her dad st stays alive, her dad buys her in the car, she gets screwed over because she got, gets cut off by an SUV, flies into a ditch, breaks her spine, now she's paralyzed for life. No way of fixing it. Wow. What did we do? Like I said last episode, what did we do? Nothing good. Nothing good. Does she have like a hospital room it's in her house? It's a pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe. You're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? Make a wish foundation. <laughs> What's that say? It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Oh, we love you and your heart. Good to see you smiling. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Gas mask optional. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage to hide. It's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Um, read. Must she must be Miss Blue. Okay, she wanted water. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. I'm just trying to like look for things. Snow globes are taking I can uh what is it? Like take pictures of because sometimes you look at stuff and you can take pictures. I mean, I could always come That's back a later. Serious heat lamp. But... Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. So she can't feel anything. Okay, she's she's basically dying. I better find the water. Man. Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Dude, where's the water? Dude, she's gonna die. 
Oh, it's right there. I'm freaking retarded. Drink up, Buttercup. Wow, those rhyme smacks. Oh, man. <sighs> no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. So all she can do is move I, her no, head. You're just trying to help. Right, she's yeah, paralyzed from like, the neck down. Habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Seems like yesterday. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm cost... My parents almost okay, we're back. Sorry, my mom had to talk to me again. Sorry, there's always someone trying to like attack me while I'm no trying to make intended. videos now. You are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh... I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show it's not on. Like we haven't seen you that, better right? not fall asleep on uh, me uh, like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Wait. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> 100%. So I've heard. There's the old Chloe. Okay, what are we doing? Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Mixtape. Pirate power. Wrong one, though. Aha, here's the DVD. Okay, is there anything else? Or... Oops, don't do that. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Oh. Nothing but medical supplies. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Okay. Shove her in. Ooh. Only a 
made it to the movie and so much is happening. What? We're gonna miss the movie! Oop, I fell asleep. Chloe obviously can't move. Or can she? Was she lying? Nope, she's still- Oh, she never fell asleep? Uh, she's probably like, is this a dream? Because if it is, I want to stay awake forever. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No. I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Oof, it's Yesterday spicy. was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but... Being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. This insurance is Wait, that, that's the garage. Hey, William. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Chloe, I, I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. I'm glad you're here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe. If I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. The care room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be be hard on you guys financially. financially these bills are more like crushing we have to mortgage our home and that's pretty scary but but we'll get through it price is always right get it no i have to go see if chloe needs anything it was so great talking with you again <laughs> you act like it's the last time and please keep me from these bills whenever you want the last time it might be oh, Victoria. She's like an our friend. Okay, so we can look at Victoria's message in a second. Yeah, actually, let's look at our phone when we get up there. But we gotta get those needles. Um, no, not that. Okay. Oh, 
don't do it again. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't pout, love you. Wow, Max is really like in everyone's face. Nathan's my friend? I don't know how I like maybe I'm clicking the wrong button. Okay, I am. Okay, what was that Taylor thing? We'll look at Victoria in like a second. This is so interesting. It's all call me back. What the frick? All these people I hated in a list of the person I helped, like all the time, are now like not my friends. Same same people. Oh, And you help me by save me a bowl. <sighs> Victoria, you're not my friend. Okay, I keep it upstairs. Apparently. Oh, yeah, it might help if I turn the light switch on. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Fine. Nothing animal. here. You open it for one second. How do you know there's nothing there? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny, I think I look older. Probably because of the clothes you're wearing. Okay, probably should switch this off. Because I'm a good Samaritan. I'm a good Samaritan. Oh boy, okay. Well, let's walk faster, okay. Like I said, gotta refigure these controls out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. Eiffel Tower. Bonjour. That's great, they finally went to Paris. I can talk to him about that now, but I'm not going to. She's about dead because I took about 50 minutes to get this morphine, but let's put it in. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um. Okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Oh, yeah. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Photo op? Photo op? <laughs> okay, where is it? Sure. Oh, oh, didn't mean to open that. Wow, sir. 
Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Uh. Uh, Eric, I what? Okay. Okay, um, let's grab this album. Look at this picture. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. So this is the garage. I just changed it into Chloe's room. Sweet. Okay, here we go. But now I'm gonna get like messed up when I see pictures, I think. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. All these memories. Still time for wait, what does she mean? Oh man, is there we dying? are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. She could go Listen, back. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Wait, what? Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Wha what? Accept, refuse, I don't know. I don't know. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend. No matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. Uh, okay, um, this episode went from, like, a calm transition to me trying to kill somebody, so... Whew. I'm gonna leave this for the next episode. You guys are gonna have to go to the next episode. I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger.
Will I kill her, or will I not? <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.